a room where you just you just yeah not I've been and you're you're not even thinking about it you're just you're you're, you're just infinite consciousness mm. yeah so like I've been doing that for for about seventeen years. So your habitual set point of how limited you are will, will, will change throughout the years because you're always busting. Mm -hmm. You're always busting the things. So, you know, I can experience contractions, like, you know, yeah. there's, been, there's been a great day today, yesterday, so that I don't experience any sense of limitation. Something may come up and then there may be a contraction and then I'll have to go... It's almost like a, a negative emotion, like, almost the same, like... Yeah, it's like suddenly your you're experiencing yourself as limited mm -hmm. in some way. You know, it's because either because some thought has been made special, you or the body, angry. or anger. You still today feel angry. Feel yeah. Those characters that anger, but you know, even if anger comes up uh, mm -hmm. the, uh, now, it's usually identified with for a very short time, very superficially, and it goes very quickly. I actually saw yesterday. Yes. An emoji. Yeah. I was, oh, you saw me. I was like, oh. Anyway, I was back home. <laughs> and uh, it was like, and the question was, do, and that kind of struck me because I wasn't expecting this from a GE. Uh, the question was, uh, do I have, how can I love everyone? Yeah. And what you say is, you don't, you don't have to love everyone. And I was like, I thought he was going to say, no, oh, if you step into the unconditional love, and all of that. I was kind of struck by it. it was like but don't you think this is like universal intelligence um, kind of coming through each individual? This is where I go back to like I don't know if anyone on the earth can be mm. fully enlightened because I think there's, there's always the language that that person or the, there's a little bit of a remnant of that person in what they say. No matter maybe mm. maybe there's a few like Jesus. I don't know, but like you know, and I'm not saying he's not enlightened. I'm just saying that. Yeah. I wonder, because, and I've noticed this is a terrible thing to say, but I'm going to say it anyway. Like when mm -hmm. females, you talk about enlightenment, there tends to be love gets mentioned a lot more. <laughs> what, what? Like females who are enlightened tend to talk about love and compassion way more. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, is, is it coming through? There's still, the, you know, there's still some remnant of the person through which this, this kind of consciousness, universal mm. consciousness is coming through. No, that, that is true. No, that, that is true. There is a remnant. And and uh, uh, that that, it, that it, it filters, but the essence of the person is limitless. Yeah. But it can come through in a way that can be perceived as limited. Mm. So um, so that's true what you say. Uh, but the it's not coming from a personal person. It's just the remnants of what was left over. And it's like, like grace. Is, it's like language or whatever. Grace. Yeah. I mean, there is no person behind that, but. Mm. The remnants of the thing can flare through mm. in a way which is perceived as unspiritual, shall we say? Mm. But actually, there isn't there isn't an ego behind it. Yeah, it's the grace. So yes, that's true. And every enlightened teacher, if you calibrate them, uh, there will always be people who say, "Well, you can't be enlightened because X, Y, and Z." Mm. Like there was, a, I mean, there's a funny story with um, this is a famous Indian once, Miss Regatta. Um, to what second name it was famous Indian sage, and like and you know he became enlightened, but the, you know the body carried on smoking, you know the body and then you know spiritual you know people well you can't be enlightened because why are you smoking you know if you're you know, but it's like something just some remnant it's habitual. It's a, yeah. like a habitual remnant yeah, yeah. of what was left over. But the consciousness is totally enlightened, but then... It's almost like a trace left by the ego. I, I, I thought about that, yeah. I'm going to say, I'll be real honest. I, I, I thought about that with Muji, because it it's a little bit... <laughs> like, we're, we're on camera. He likes his cake. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we're on camera, sorry. <laughs> but i got to be honest, it's like, yeah. is there you any attachment with Muji? Is mind. there? <laughs> he won't mind. Yeah. Um, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, well, you said Hawkins once said, I'm going to... Like go of chocolate. Yeah. So you know, there's, there's all stages. Of <laughs> there's all stages, and it's true. What what you do say is true. I mean, you can <laughs> check the markings on. They 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 come out as enlightened. Some are not enlightened. Some are, and there's remnants, and it's true. Lots lots of people say, how can they be doing that? The same. My that? personal way is I look for the commonality, and you know, if it's something that like pretty much all enlightened people are saying, I think you know the chances are really high that's 
Mm. Yes. That's yeah. universal consciousness talking. Yes. That's, and you know, that's right. Yeah. And you work. And, yeah, and you feel it. Yeah. And you feel it. Exactly. And you feel it. Yeah. And then people, you know, people will come and say, well, he's definitely not enlightened because he said that or whatever. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. Yeah. Or, but that, that, that's just the remnants yeah. of it. It doesn't, doesn't, doesn't mean it. But every enlightened right. teacher has like, well, he can't be enlightened or she can't be enlightened or, you know, whatever. Because he swore I mean, or something or, or whatever. He makes money. One, he it? makes yeah. money or smokes or yeah. whatever it is. I have a reckon it's two things. It's a lot of ego in me going like, you know, I, I, oh, all yeah. my life I, I was going after this special teacher or this special book or this special intellectual, uh, intellectually, I don't know how to say it, everything around me, you know what I mean? Yeah. So there's a lot of ego there, you know, time consuming, just easy, easy not, who cares? But uh, the second thing is there's a lot of charlatans out there too. That's true. That's true. Let's put this off.